Good Monday morning to you. This is Pastor Mark Pierce with Church Requill, and uh, I believe this is uh, Matthew Bible Study number 85. Uh, Today we want to continue our look at Matthew chapter 5, uh, verse 13. So let me read that to you. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. I think it's important for us to remember uh, a couple of things when we look at this passage. The first thing we need to focus on is that Jesus is very clearly talking to his disciples. But I believe that it's uh, something that can very well be meant for all Christ's followers. Uh, Matthew, when he put his gospel together, I think has in mind that this would be a teaching that his church could very much benefit from. And uh, so the people who are attending, uh, going to the fellowship of Matthew, wherever that might be, uh, should hear what the Messiah, what Jesus had to say to the disciples. And this is passed uh, from uh, Matthew uh, on to the people who are either hearing or reading his gospel message. And that message here is that you are to be the salt of the earth. And there is a very uh, grave warning given, and that is that if you lose your taste, what good are you? We talked on Saturday morning about the very many different possibilities for the issue of salt. Salt was a purification device, that it uh, represented purity, that it certainly added great taste, that it brought together uh, the fellowship of men with one another, uh, that it was used as a binding of contract uh, with uh, each other. There were a lot of different uses for salt, but the one thing that we definitely understand is that salt was never used by itself. It was always something that was used in common or brought together other things. I can't help but think, and again, this is uh, from science, not from the Bible, but uh, I am told that salt is actually uh, sodium chlorine and that it is uh, not something that is uh, found by itself just floating around. It is a combination of of sodium on the one hand with uh, chlorine, that that thing that you smell, you know, in the bleach. When you bring these two elements together, you have this common concept of table salt. So even in the use of uh, salt itself, that salt is not by itself, it is combined with other things. I think that there's a lesson here for us as a Christ follower today Uh, just as there was in Jesus' day. And that is that we are not here just for ourselves. We are, our faith is really not something that we only by ourselves benefit from, but our faith is something that is supposed to change the world. And we are uh, the disciples of Jesus. We are the followers of Jesus. We are his students. But we don't just learn Uh, for how it can benefit our lives, we learn to follow him. And in the process of following him, we are world changers. Uh, People see the difference that Christ makes in our lives. And as a result, uh, the world is different because of that. Now, it may be that um, some of us are called to be a preservative to the world. It may be that some of us bring taste to the world. It may be that uh, some of us are the ones who bring together men from opposite uh, viewpoints and find peace together. But the one thing that I'm absolutely convinced of is that like uh, salt being the combination of two things, we cannot be salt by ourselves. Uh, We need to have the Spirit of God in us, the power of God enabling us. We need to have that connection to God 
in order to be the salt of the world. Uh, we need to be able to see people the way God sees them. We need to have the power of God to be able to change the world. We need to be able to um, you know, have the, the uh, insight of God to be able to be loving to what often are unlovable people in unlovable situations. And how can we do that if we are apart from God himself? So there is this uh, idea, I think, that Jesus is saying, hey, I've just given you these beatitudes. I've just given you this idea of how uh, you live. But be reminded, this isn't just for you. <laughs> this is so that you can bring my kingdom here to the rest of the world and so that the world will be different because of it. So as you think about this idea of you being salt in this world today, how does this impact you? Do you look at your life and say, hey, this is all about me? Or do you say, Lord, how is it that you want to use me today for your kingdom? How can I make sure that I don't lose my salt flavor? I don't think it has anything to do with uh, our personality. It doesn't have anything to do with um, you know, our work or our effort necessarily, but it has everything in, at all to do with how we are connected to the Lord and how he is able to use us. If we remain usable so that he can place us where he wants us, he can use us the way that he wants us, then we indeed will be the salt of the earth. I hope that you have a great Monday today and that uh, we can get together again for more Bible study on Tuesday morning.